Welcome back to the Black Hills and Eastern Railroad, everybody. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at a cylindrical hopper car built by Intermountain Railway Company and decorated for Canadian Pacific. This car came to me by way of eBay, and interestingly enough, was purchased originally at Becker's Hobby in the Twin Cities. I've been to that store many times, so I was interested to see the sticker on there. Um, this car isn't brand new, and neither is the Intermountain release. But I thought we'd have fun walking through my Canadian Railroad obsession and, frankly, my obsession with all things Canada lately and uh, give you a few ex fun examples of that and taking a look at this uh, this beautiful car that Inter Intermountain built. We'll uh, take a look at the uh, specifics and MRA compliance and look at a couple of runbys. Stick with me. I can't specifically put my finger on the origins of my uh, Canada obsession, um, but part of it might come from the railroading. I don't know. I always thought that the CP uh, paint uh, on both the cars and locomotives was pretty sharp. And um, also here uh, several years back, uh, we planted some Saskatoon berries here on our place in Southeast South Dakota. And last summer, we were able to harvest the berries and, and have enough for a pie, which was, I might add, delicious. Um, but research into that plant and research into Canadian railroads and also purchasing um, part of an estate which contained a lot of Canadian flavor to it. Uh, both Milo and I uh, got some pieces out of that. And you've seen some here on the channel. Um, was, uh, was kind of a bit of the uh, fuel for the fire, as you might, as you might say. For the last four, four, five, six years, I've been fascinated with all things Canada. Among my favorites are Saskatoon berries, which are growing here in our yard in southeast South Dakota. Last summer, we made a delicious pie with them. Canadian PM Justin Trudeau, who boxes for fun. The Sutherland boys, Donald and son Kiefer. GMD and MLW Diesels. South Sask Farmer on YouTube. Michael J. Fox. Beth and I loved his performance as Lewis Canning on the CBS series, The Good Wife. You should check that out, seriously. Rocky Mountain Railroad by FD Reel, a German outfit on YouTube. You might find this also on Apple TV and possibly on Discovery Canada. The Revelstoke Virtual Railfan Live Cam, check that one out. That's cylindrical hoppers and other Canada-specific HO scale stuff. So now on to the car itself. I've read around a few different places that this Intermountain car is a, an approximation of several different build phases of the original cylindrical hopper car. So if you're looking for one, any one exact prototype, that's going to not be within your reach with this car. That being said, this is a very nice car. Taking this car, and this is a second-hand car that I've got, and I thought it was neat um, that this car originally came from Becker's in uh, the Twin Cities. Uh, I believe Becker's now has been closed. The uh, was a sole proprietorship, and I believe he's running the uh, the business as a, a mail order outfit out of his home now. Uh, but anyway, I was glad to have bought several pieces uh, when we were up there for Minrail and other events around the Twin Cities area. This car comes in the clamshell case. Uh, recently, Intermountain began, well, not so recently, but Intermountain began offering these cars as ready-to-run cars instead of the uh, kit form that was notoriously difficult to build. Um, anyway, we're going to take the car out of the shell, and it looks to be like brand new in pretty much every way here. Just a high-level overview. Nothing broken or anything like that. Everything in place and very fine uh, end cages and walkways. This is a really neat car, you guys. So I get the camera down a little closer and give you a white background so you can see a little bit more what's going on. You can see that these uh, photo etched or metal etched uh, uh, walkways are very fine over the top. Uh, the end cages seem to be pretty fine. And the uh, printing overall is particularly crisp, that white over the black. Uh, I don't see any issues with that at all. Uh, all that stuff is pretty legible on there. And uh, should be noted that this car um, does come factory equipped with uh, the metal wheels, the Intermountain wheels, which are my favorite in HO scale, and KD couplers. Those, are, those do have a metal uh, knuckle spring in them. So zooming in a little bit more closely on these details, you can see the uh, reporting mark and everything fairly clearly all over the car here. And of course the multi-mark logo, 
which I'm told was to support uh, uh, corporate unity, corporate direction, uh, and that uh, was an idea, I guess, out of CP's marketing department, probably in the uh, mid-70s, I think is what that was. Yeah, they call that the Multimart. Uh, I believe rail, rail fans refer to that as the Pac-Man logo. No idea why. Uh, the one knock on these cars that I do am aware of is that this, this fine edge ca end cage is really nice. and So we're looking at the B end here with all the brake rigging and stuff. Um, but you can't see through um, down the floor there, down to the wheels. Um, and I know other cars have done that where, and I, I'm not sure why this is tooled this way, if that's for strength in the car. Um, it add to the realism if you could see through down to the wheels there. Uh, on the real thing, that's all open and stuff. And so we see that the car weighs in right at 4.6 ounces, which is real close to NMRA recommended uh, practice for a car of this size. And now with regard to coupler height um, on the B end here, we're just ever so slightly low. Uh, that trip pin is actually hitting the gauge on the uh, coupler height gauge. So I'm kind of wanting those up out of the dirt, and the same is true with the A end here. The other thing that you'll note about the physical attributes about this car is the uh, long trough hatch running basically the length of the car body and the four guillotine style drain gates at the bottom. Uh, basically, this uh, this makes this uh, uh, an ideal suited car to handling grain and probably would be very commonly seen out on the plains of Saskatchewan and eastern uh, Alberta. Overall, I'm pleased with this purchase and I'm uh, glad to be adding this to my Canadian grain car fleet and uh, my overall grain car fleet uh, in general. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and hopefully, if, if I'm lucky, I'll see you in the next one.